Welcome back to Cashflow Convos. Today we're in eminent supercar hire with our brother Omer. How you doing, bro? I'm all right, bro. The How are you? Only, the one and only. How's it going, bro? Alhamdulillah, bro. Yeah. How's it going? How's it? All right, man. Yeah, yeah. Busy, man. So let's get straight into it. So, how did you start your business? Uh, bro, we started back in 2012. Uh, it was my three brothers that started it off. So we started off with three cars. We started off with a Seat Leon, uh, Audi A3, and it was a Golf. Um, and Alhamdulillah, slowly, slowly giving them cars out, giving them cars out. Um, we've made it to here today. Oh, yeah, mashallah, yeah. mashallah, mashallah, man. mashallah, man. So you start with three cars. So, so how did you expand then to get like? So we started with now? three cars, and um, we start. We had a lot of uh, cars coming in through lease. We were leasing mm. loads of cars out. We had over yeah. over hundred cars on the road on lease, and then we start going up into the uh, performance side cars. We start going up, and then after the performance side, because eventually we had gone into the super uh, supercar side. So it was more of like a family, but it started as a family. Yeah, so it was my three brothers that started it off. Yeah. And um, yeah, Alhamdulillah, it's yeah. here today. It's a lot of cars here. So, what's your favorite car anyway? Uh, I think my favorite car has to be the Turbo S. Turbo, Turbo S. S. Yeah, my Turbo Porsche, S. Porsche, yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll order it's it. in <laughs> black. <laughs> Even over the Urus, over the Kuli? Uh, over anything. The, the over, Porsche. Over anything, yeah. Yeah, now nah. So, what about? I've got to ask you the million dollar question, man. Um, what, Lambo or Ferrari? Ferrari. Ferrari, yeah. Any day. What yeah. do you think, Ferrari? See, bro, you know, with the, um, with the, with the Lambo, yeah. it's got the looks, it's got the sound, but you need the drive as well. You know, yeah, you know yeah. the drive is the Ferrari. Yeah. And for me, it has to be the Ferrari, man. You yeah. know, the, it's, it, for me, more, more, the most important thing is the drive and, and for how, you know, when you sit, sit in a car, you can't be uncomfortable and the car mm. is so comfortable. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it has to be a Ferrari. Yeah, have you seen the new, they've got the Ferrari SUV now, isn't it? Yeah, I've got a Ferrari SUV. You got it, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's just sitting in the dealers at the minute. It's yeah. in a um, Ferrari as we're speaking now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just need to go and pick it back up. But the car is, is, is something else, honestly. Yeah, like you, I've, I've, I've got G-Wagons, I've got Urus, I've yeah. got Urus Paves. I've got, you know, Cullinans. I've got every, every, near enough every 4x4. Four four. Yeah. But the Ferrari, the uh, Pura Sangue is, is, is something else. Yeah, it looks man. heavy, man. I feel, you feel like that tops it all off. Yeah, it is something else. You know, the speed, the naturally aspirated V12 on it. Yeah. It's something else. You can't beat that, innit? You can't beat it. So the Ferrari, so uh, what's your thoughts on the Bugatti Chiron, the Big B? Have you ever had thoughts on buying that? Should I be honest with you? The Bugatti is, uh, is, is, is something that is special. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? And... Um, Buying a Bugatti is it's not something where it's like a joke. You gotta really think it through. But right now, as as I'm speaking, how I'm looking at it is is it really worth putting three million pounds into a Bugatti? Mm. Or should I go and buy ten Euruses? What's the Bugatti gonna give me back on return? What's mm. the Eurus is gonna give me back on return? Yeah, you gotta think about that like, supply and demand and all yeah, that. 100%. Well, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. But now, now I'm looking around, I'm seeing like loads of Lambos, bro. How many Lambos you got all together? Bro, I, can't, I couldn't even tell you at the top of my head. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> that alhamdulillah. Yeah, no. Got loads, man. How many, about, how many cars all together? I've got about, right now, I've, as we're speaking now, I've got about, probably about 53, 52, 53, 53 cars, cars, yeah. And how much do you reckon that's all worth, like, with the whole fleet? Man, sit here, man. If, I'm sit, if I sit down, I think we'll end up opening our rosa. <laughs> 100 million, yeah? yeah. yeah. Is that 100 million? <laughs> nah, well, I wouldn't say 100. I wouldn't yeah. say 100, but... A few mil? Yeah, probably a bit more than that, mm -hmm. yeah. Alhamdulillah. I'm not sure that's good, man. So, uh, how old are you anyway? I'm 18. Whoa, oh, 18. 18. Yeah, I'm 18. That's so young, man. Like, how, how does it, like, is it get stressful and stuff? Yeah, so so I'll tell you how it started off with me. Um, a couple of years ago, I come, I come into the business. Yeah. And when I come into it, I thought, because as a kid, I never really, I, I studied, but I didn't really want to study. Mm. I liked cars and, you know, obviously my brothers were doing it. So I was like, I'm going to go into cars. I'm going to go into cars. I used to love coming to the uni after school, yeah. uh, coming in, looking at the cars, just going on a little drive, going to the car wash. Is, like, for me, that was, that was a, like, I loved it. Yeah, just yeah. Sit, just starting the car up was a big thing. And I really enjoyed doing that. So the one day what had happened was, um, that my brother said to me that you might as well come in now. And I said, okay, then, so when I come in, I was finding it easy, everything I was doing, but you got to remember there was, it wasn't like there was hundred percent on me. I didn't have, uh, obviously I didn't have much pressure on me. So it was nothing like what I was doing when I was younger, it was nothing, but Alhamdulillah over the years, it's come to a stage where I've, I've t I took over now yeah. and uh, I do everything. So it does get stressful at times, you know, yeah. seeing cars on road at three in the morning and stuff. You want to go sleep, but you can't go sleep till that last car is off. Yeah. You don't know what's going to happen with it. Um, giving cars out to new customers. It, it's not a bad thing, but it's just, you just want to be 100% safe. We do all our checks, we do everything, but it's just still good to know where the car is and 
how the car is driving and everything. Yeah, definitely. Man. So you say you start when you were 15, right? Yeah, I started when I was 15. So you're doing like your GCSEs and stuff like that as well? Yeah, I was time. doing GCSEs and everything. And then after GCSEs, I just dropped down. I just come straight in here. Yeah. yeah, so were you doing that like at the same time? Yeah, so? I was doing everything at the same that's time. That's crazy, yeah. that's crazy. So how did you find out then, balancing all that? It wasn't a, I wouldn't say it was easy, but at the same time, um, it was it was okay because I, I was at school school from or eight till three. After that, I used to come in here. Mm. I used to do a few things, and then I used to go back. So yeah, I used to answer phone calls, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, At the start, yeah, I used yeah, to answer yeah. phone calls, and I used yeah. to get a buzz off it. Like I used to love it. Yeah, yeah. And um, after that, just once I've started, like now, Alhamdulillah, yeah, I've yeah. come into it now. Um, I, I do everything. I do from the bookings to the like getting everything arranged to dropping cars off to getting them cleaned to mm-hmm. getting them serviced to looking over everything. Alhamdulillah, like don't get me wrong, my brothers and everyone are still there, um, but it's just I've obviously come more and more up in the game now. Yeah. yeah, what sort of clientele do you have? Like, do you have like celebrities, footballers? Yeah, so we have everything. We've got celebrities, we've got footballers. Um, I've got I've got loads of high end class uh, people. Mm. Uh, but ha- what I what I like to work on more is you know long term. So I'll long-term give cars. Out. Yeah, I'll give cars out for twelve months, two years, three years. I've got a lot of cars out. Mm. I've got cars out that have been out for like two to three years, um, and I've got loads of cars out like that, which I like better. Um, because it's with one customer and yeah, so yeah. have it for six months or yeah six months, months yeah. to, I like that kind of client the clientele yeah what do you reckon kept you like motivated to keep going and keep like adding more cars to the fleet should, should I be honest there? should I tell you what keep me, kept me motivated yeah. when I used to go into the showroom and I used to I used to be young and I used to have the uh, choice of specking a car up or ch- uh, specking a car up and since yeah. then I've always wanted to go and spec more and more cars up hmm. Do you know what I mean? I've always wanted to go. So it's made me work harder thinking to work harder. That's the only way I can buy a car yeah. and to buy a car. And once I buy the car, put a deposit down on it, that's when I can spec it up. So that was like my goal. That was my achievement. Yeah, yeah. And I've been doing that since. And Alhamdulillah, I've been specking up and specking up. And now, inshallah, I've got uh, two, I've got about five, six cars already coming this year. Yeah. Well, what's the, what's the best rap you've ever done on a car? You know what? It's 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 coming out. Uh, the well, it's not a wrap. I've done a, a PPF. I'm PPF, a I'm yeah. a SVJ. Yeah, what colour is that? That's coming back now. It's like a, I don't even know how to explain to you. You look at it from one angle, and it's a blue <laughs> and a green. And you look at it from the other angle, it's a yellow and gold. Yeah, yeah I think it's, it's the colours that stand out, isn't it? Really, on the it's cars. It's the colours that stand out. Like this one now. Oh, you probably can't even see. We'll show them on the camera. Yeah, I, I like the STO, that. isn't it? Lamborghini. It's that baby blue colour. Yeah. So no, with my STO, with this one uh, behind me, the blue one is uh, Cepheus blue. Yeah. I mean, I'd spec this up. I remember I'd done it with carbon. Uh, Carbon splitter, I went for the carbon fins, carbon roof, uh, carbon everything spoiler, carbon. sorry. Uh, yeah, ev- basically, everything's carbon, yeah. Mm. These are not your uh, like daily cars. You don't really see this much on the road, do you? Really? Yeah, so see, you know, with them, most of my cars, I do give them out, to be honest, like quite a lot. Uh, but with my STOs, I do try being careful because they are rear wheel drive. Yeah. And the blue one, I don't really tend to give out. Yeah, have you had any crashes? It's, it's got a soft spot in my heart. Yeah, yeah. Have you had any crashes? Like, anyone See, crashed you know, in, in this hiring game, alham- like you do get a lot of crashes, but mm. alhamdulillah, we have been safe. Yeah. yeah. We've had you have you have you always will have a minor one, like a little scuff or a little scratch. Yeah, yeah. But alhamdulillah, we have been safe. And I just think that's that's because the customers we deal with. Um, don't get me wrong, you you never can just by having someone's license and doing all checks on them. You know they can always yeah, have a different no, yeah. side to them. Yeah. Now, that's, that's the crazy thing, though, man. Because like you've got like expensive cars, so to to think that someone can like crash them and yeah, so, like hundred like, percent. You know, with me, I'm not desperate for a booking. Hmm. So you know, even if I get something like if someone's willing to pay me three thousand pound for a euros for the weekend, I, but I get a slight feeling in my heart, I won't do it. I just simply won't do it. I had a uh, I had a booking come through um, from London, hmm. and it was on an SVJ, and my heart wasn't just feeling it. And I didn't give the car, yeah. um, but that car had a little problem happen to it. Yeah, yeah it had a little problem that happened to it. And luckily, I didn't give it. Mm. So did you get but that? I, I always get that. I always have, you know, if I have a feeling in my heart, I'll never give a car. You get that feeling? Yeah, yeah if yeah. I ever have that feeling, the car's not going nowhere, staying here. What's the What's the most expensive daily rate on the Lambo? It's probably this one, you know, I've got here right now. How much is that? Uh, 2,500 to 2,750. Is it age requirement okay. and deposit? Yeah, so my hire policy, I've got a, a proper self-drive hire policy and I'm 27 plus. Uh, and with with deposits and stuff, I charge five grand on normal cars and ten thousand pound on SVJs. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. But twenty seven plus, yeah, my policy is. So what the like older clientele basically? Yes, which is better, I think personally. Mm, it's more safe. Right? More safe. More experienced drivers. Yeah, hundred percent more experienced. Yeah, but um, so so let's say if someone was watching this right now and they were like thinking they wanted to start their own fleet, 
So what would their first move be? Or what See, should their look, first move be? You know, one thing I say, like I've got a um, couple of friends mm. and they've all come into, they all want to do hiring and stuff. But I say, look, the first thing you got to get is a hire policy mm. because I can have loads of cars sitting here. But if I haven't got that hire policy, then the cars are not worth nothing. Is that, is that hard to get hold of? Yeah, it's, it's not easy. Look, for instance, now look in the UK, how hard it is to get a normal policy on a normal car. Mm. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Hard, and look how yeah. expensive it is. So it is very hard to get one. And to get a higher policy, it's not easy. So Alhamdulillah, uh, I've got a full self-drive higher policy. And um, and, and for my fi- so my first thing for someone is, obviously, get your higher policy, then get a car. Mm. And slowly build it up. Don't rush. You know, just because you got a car, they don't don't think in your head that oh, I have to give this car. I have to make money on it because yeah. you're because obviously it's written. What you're gonna make is written regardless. It's written. So you just take your time. And obviously, if you get that little thing in your head or in your heart that I shouldn't give the car, that don't give it. Mm. But uh, what do you reckon your key to success was? It was my prayers. Your prayers. That's yeah? my key, man. Like Alhamdulillah, you know, since a young age, my brothers, my family, they've always made me stick to praying. And I've been praying since a young age, and I personally believe all all this you you can do uh, you you can work as hard as you want, hmm. but it's all come from Allah. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? You can work as hard as you want, um, but obviously from a young age, I was I used to be with my brothers. We used to pray together, um, and we've been doing that ever since. Like even now, like I pray all the time. Yeah. I, I don't feel until I don't pray. I, I ha, I've got something in my heart. I have to pray. Does it ever feel surreal? Because you went from so obviously you said you went from your first car to now. Like it's like obviously a, a massive jump. So does it ever f- feel like how did I get here? Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Um, it's a very big stage. Obviously, because my brother started off in 2012. I was I was a kid then. Yeah. yeah. And you know I still remember um, coming into the to the unit we, we wasn't in this unit at that time it was in a small one mm. and I remember coming in and looking at M5 and you know C63 and I was like whoa yeah. I, you know you know, as a kid like you really look, look at them things and so you, you think, had quite wow. a passion from young quite, yeah, quite, a, quite yeah quite a big passion and um, over time like Alhamdulillah you know and you just look back at it like mm. you really do sit there and think Alhamdulillah like yeah, but I, I have to give still give credit to my brothers because they have worked very hard. It used to be, you know, when I used to have, when we used to have pay jobs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. He was telling me, and obviously, and this is what still gives me motivation because he he goes to me that when I used to be young and we used to do this hiring because tw- twelve years ago was obviously mm. quite a long time ago, yeah. and he goes, I used to have a job on a pay job like ninety pound for the weekend. And he goes, I used to go running to the uni, whether it was snowing, raining, anything. I used to pull the car out. I used to wash it all myself, get it ready. And I used to give the car out. So come in, come in, Alhamdulillah. So he used to do all, himself, all by himself? Yeah, don't, my brothers. So yeah, them yeah. three used, used to do it. To do it. So coming, coming from obviously pedals and stuff to now having all these, it's, it's, a, big, it's a big thing, but yeah, you yeah. have worked hard for it as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Do you know what I mean? I've seen, uh, you've got a lot of number plates, private number plates. What's your most expensive one? The uh, okay, I'd say the most priceless one yeah. is on is my own name. Is your name yeah. Is it Omar, so the, yeah? yeah, so it's Omar, that's the most priceless that's on one. The gold for, yeah, yeah that's on my gold for, yeah. Is that your daily? What's your daily then? See my daily, bro. What I will drive so you know my work car for my work and stuff, I drive the golf car. So if I need to go up and down the country where dropping cars off, picking cars up, you know, stuff like that is my mm. golf car. And yeah. um, but other than that, the cars that I don't give out is my turbo S and my Euros Performante. So that's like so I, yeah, cars. so they're like personal. So I'd we drive them myself, me and my brothers. Yeah. So I don't give them out. But the golf's like you're running around like for. Yeah. So you know, for like when I'm going up and down the country, dropping yeah. cars off, picking them up, going to just say like showrooms, the like Lamborghini, Lesto, mm. you know, anything like that. I'm taking the golf for because that's the work car. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But other than that, yeah. So it's obviously in business like there's certain things that you can do and there's certain things that you can't do. Or there's certain things that you will do and some things that you won't. Obviously, sometimes you have to compromise on certain things. But what are the things that for you you wouldn't negotiate on? So look, you gotta be, you gotta have a clean heart, mm. you know, to be successful. You can't, you can't rob people because you gotta remember someone's coming to you and it's, it's like this now, for instance, you look, there be some fathers out there, some uncles out there and they get cars for their nieces, nephews, daughters, sons. Why? Just to make them happy. Yeah. And you don't know what they're going through, but they're going through it just to do it for, for their, obviously for their family. Yeah. And you don't want to be one of them people that take the deposit or, you know, something like that. Yeah. Like, what yeah. scam people? Yeah, you, you can't do that. You have to be clean. And Alhamdulillah, I think because of the way we are, like we've been clean, um, don't do anything like, you know, in terms of rob people or anything like that. Allah's given us a lot. Yeah, and also, you know, prayer is the most important thing. 
Yeah, so you'd say prayer would be probably the one, the most important non-negotiable hour. Yeah, 100% prayer is the most important thing, man. Mm. What makes you unique then? What makes you unique? Why would people come to you? Because of our service. Our, no, you can't be our service. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are the best in the game. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah, mashallah, man. But yeah. yeah, from service to look up, you know, in with, with us, the thing is, is, you know, just say, for instance, you hide this ST off me that's right behind me. Mm. And for any reason, the car can't make it there. You know, I... We're, we're that kind of company that if I can't give you a STO because of any reason, but you've booked it, I will come and give you a SVJ and I won't mm -hmm. charge you anything extra. So yeah. the service. I'll the always give you a like for like, or I'll give you something better. And if I, just say for instance, uh, if, if I can't give you my SVJ, what I will do is I'll get an SVJ from somewhere else. Even if I have to pay out of my own pocket, mm. I have to because I've, I've given my word on it. Mm. So customer it has to service. be done. Yeah, customer, customer service. Customer service is the most important thing yeah. in a business. Would you say customers come first then? Yeah, 100% customers come first. Customers come first. Yeah, and like right. now, for instance, if if you're my customer and you told me you want an SVJ, but my friend comes, well, my mate comes over to me and says he wants an SVJ. Yeah. And I've only got that one at the time, but my, I have to give it to the customer. Yeah. Do you get it? Because my business comes first. And obviously the customers come to me first. Yeah, but what That's would you say the challenges of electric cars coming into play? Or would, would that affect your business? To be honest, no, because it, wi it will and it won't because some people hire cars to hear the sound, but some people hire cars because the name Lambo. Yeah, mm. true. Does that make sense? So yeah, either yeah. way, you're still going to get that. Yeah. And it's going to be, I think it's still going to be a very long time yet till it all goes 100%. The Tesla electric. Cybertruck. Yeah. Any interest in that? That just looks nasty. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got no words for that. It just looks like a big block. It's like a tank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think anybody would bullet go robot. Though, it? <laughs> yeah, but it's not like people are going to be doing shootings in my cars or anything like that. <laughs> now, what do you reckon? Do you reckon you get any like electric cars, like any other electric I've got, cars? A, I've got two i7s coming. I've i7, got an yeah. i5 coming. I don't know if you know them. The new yeah, 7 yeah. series. Yeah, I've got yeah, two yeah. coming and I've got one i5 coming. I've got, um, to be honest, I've got half electric cars. My SF90 is half electric. Oh, so you really got some of them? Yeah, yeah. And then the I've, got my, I've got uh, my Revelto coming in the next, hopefully, 45 weeks. Yeah, yeah. So that's gonna obviously have a little bit in there as well. Um, I've got I've got quite a bit. I've I've got the you know the Eurises when the new ones come out. I've even got yeah. them. Yeah, I'll have them. I'm coming up. So yeah, so you know, the new new cars that are coming in, they are gonna be either half electric or, you know, they will start going yeah, like yeah. that. Because it's starting to change now. Yeah, like they the are starting to change, like but I think they will stay as half electric for quite a while, to be honest. No, mm. you mainly specialize in Lamborghinis, is it? It looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too Lamborghinis, because well. everyone loves Lamborghinis. Everyone loves them. The sound, what the noise, the looks. You don't have many Ferraris. You know, Ferraris, I've got, um, look, how many, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to tell you something now. So I got about 11 Ferraris, Yeah. but how many can you see in here? None. So what's a more popular car? Ferraris are out, yeah? Ferraris yeah, are yeah. out. My Ferraris are long term. I've got a lot of Ferraris out on long term. Mm, that's another thing. Like when we come in here, obviously we think the Lambos are the most popular. Like you've got loads, so they must be in high demand. But I'm thinking, imagine if, if, if these are in here, imagine what's not in here. That's and on the road. But shall I tell you something as well though? I've got yeah. about nine Euruses missing from here. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a lot of Euruses out. Yeah. I've got a lot of, I've got so many Hurricanes out, uh, Aventuro, S, my SVJs not in here. I've got loads of my Technicas. Yeah. I've got two Technicas, one in grey and one in orange. They're not even here. But are you, are you hiring in the UK only or international as well? No, I, I do. Uh, I've got customers that take cars, um, you know, Europe and everything. Like France, Monaco. France, yeah, Monaco. The Autobahn. Uh, no, not the Autobahn. Not the Autobahn. We're, ba <laughs> we're banned on the Autobahn. Are you banned, yeah? <laughs> yeah, banned. No cars are not allowed to go on the Autobahn. No Autobahns, no. Nah, but uh, what do you think is like the biggest mistake people make? See, you know the mistake they make, they put the keys, just, just, they put the key in everyone's hand. Does that make sense? So mm. whoever will come to them, they'll put the key in the hand, no problem, take the car. Yeah. And that's when everything really goes all the way around because when you're giving the key to anybody, they just, things go upside down and things, the cars get hit. Yeah, I and feel, like, feel like that happens a lot of times when, when uh, like, let's say people are starting up their business because obviously they want they want to start making money. So I think sometimes they might disregard that. 100%. Yeah. yeah, 100%. But that's what you say. You say like, just be careful who you give it to. Yeah, you have to be careful who you give a car to. Um, I'm not I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but you have to be careful. Like you need to have like, I take utility bills. I take occupations. Um, I take driving license front and back and I number to do checks. Mm. I do all of that. And then obviously I need to know you have got so, some sort of money there in case you end up hitting the car. Yeah, true. Mm. So on, obviously on all these um, uh, Lambos and everything, it's a uh, 50,000 pound excess. Well, but have you got a GPS on them as well in case yeah, someone yeah, speeds? I got a lot of, yeah, I got trackers. So, I've got, trackers. Turn them off, so, so turn the I can turn off? the cars off. Um, have you ever done that before? Turn it yeah, off. I've turned the cars off. Yeah, what? Yeah, like, yeah. let's say someone's speeding. You yeah, just if turn somebody's it off. speeding, yeah. But I won't, you know, look, you got to understand, you know, when somebody hires a car, 
you mm. can't be unfair to them yeah, like yeah. they are going to have a bit of fun yeah. but you can't literally you can't take the mic out of somebody yeah well, what what um, do you reckon the speed limit that, that um, you allow them to go to bro 10 15 20 miles per hour over pushing yeah. it but on the motorway i don't want my cars going over 100 yeah and, and that? that's why i've got limiters on the cars why is that just don't check cuz the speed no limit, it's man. it's speed <laughs> uh, <laughs> th- there's a, there's a lot of different things like i just don't want my cars to be in a position where consistently they're going over 100 and you yeah, know yeah. stuff like that i don't the want the right, cars to it, yeah Because you know if you look at my cars alhamdulillah every single one of them is mint like I'll show you my perfs performances after yeah. they've got like 50,000 on the clock but I look after them man you, you know PPF them everything I PPF yeah. them I get them serviced on time everything on time you know if I see a little chip or a little dent or anything on the car it mm. has to be fixed straight away so are these ready to go out so from Yeah every single one's ready to go out car straight away yeah ready to go yeah. what's yeah. the what's the most you've done like in like one booking like what's the most cars that someone booked I've done probably 35 40 cars 35 40 cars has yeah. anyone has anyone ever emptied the garage like just take yeah, it yeah, yeah yeah that's yeah. summer summer you know summer so as soon as it, i think the i'd say the busiest month is august and my august would be like monday to wednesday wednesday to friday friday to monday mm-hmm. and the cars are just completely going out non stop back to back back to back back to back so who do you hire to what about weddings music videos artists See, you know with the music videos and stuff yeah. i don't really do them cuz it's not no in a bad way it's not worth my while yeah, you haven't really worked with any like the super um, rappers or anyone no no not really a lot of people i've worked with the I've, i've worked with the well the only people i don't really work with him my class him as a brother yeah. uh, imran khan Imran Khan, the singer, oh, he's, yeah, 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 he's Imran my really Khan, good, he's, he's a really good friend, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he comes and you know we're, we're very good friends. So so you get you give him the Lambos and stuff like yeah, that for he, the part for yeah, the videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all. Has he ever recorded here? Yeah, he's recorded in here. In he's here, got a yeah? song in here. Yeah, well, he was standing was probably probably. I think he was uh, on my way. Of one of them, it is was new oh, where, where he was. Uh, that's with the is it? What's his name? Um, that uh, Mies. Mies. You, you Mies. look like him, to be honest. Mies, I look like Mies. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> nah, he was he was holding a flag. Uh, you'll see. I don't know. You know, you watch. It's one of the videos. Is it, yeah. is it a new one or was it an old one? One is old. No, it was. It was a couple of. It was uh, probably a year, two years old. Two years old. Yeah, yeah. A lot of my cars are in there. No, no, I'm not in there. In the background, no. No, I'm not in there. In the car, yeah. So, are you taking this business international, Dubai? America inshallah yeah. yeah i am planning to go out there i am planning uh to do a lot of things mm. um, but it's just all at the right timing yeah, yeah. so what's your future plans then you've got any other businesses in mind or just just do you know this you know you're in a business like this you can't have another business because yeah. you're on the go 24/7 yeah, yeah the only thing that's coming you know i go home is cars i wake up is cars i go home is uh preparing cars for the next day i wake up mm. is the same thing it's just cars and cars and cars. it's literally sometimes i'll wake up at 8 in the morning i'll get home for 3 4 in the morning and i'm back up at 8 o'clock again yeah no, that's crazy hectic man but it has to be done yeah how, how do you balance it then like your work life that balance how do you do it should i be honest with you i look at you know you know because i'm so young yeah. i don't look at chilling i don't look at none of that mm. for me i just want to work yeah. i want to you know what i mean i want to take this business to another level alhamdulillah it's at a level already which is so good but i want to take it to another level yeah you say you're focused yeah i'm focused you like i just want to take it to another level yeah do you think that like that's what motivates you to keep yeah, going keep staying focused yeah 100% 100% what, what 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 else that motivates me is you know my brothers seeing mm. how far they've brought this business from scratch so yeah alhamdulillah you know like where my brothers have brought this business from mm. and where it is to now what surely i can take it over from where it is now and have that head start and take it to another level yeah. expand yeah, expand i can yeah that's that's it yeah expand yeah. so what advice would you give on someone let's say they want to start their own business let's say they want to start with a lambo for example yeah so what would your advice be to them like how would they get their first lambo see that you know you have to be in this game for a long time to know what you're really doing and you know mm. with the lambo you can't just physically get it and just put it into someone's hand and like i said like i've kept kept saying the whole podcast you can't just give it to someone into someone's hand sorry and let them just take it like that yeah. you need to have trackers uh, like proper trackers in there where you're seeing the speed you're seeing what's going on you need to see all of that yeah all um, the systems in place all, all the systems in place yes so would you advise people to like uh, start start small and then build it up Yeah, 100%. You have to start small and build it up, 100%. Mm. Um it, see, the thing is you want to start small and build it up because you you want that hunger in the game knowing that you've you've got you've gone from there to there and you've done it. So now mm. you want to go from there to there and that's the only way you're going to feel the hunger. You know, if you're just going to go and buy a Lambo yeah. and just go straight into it, you're not going to know how it feels like to go from a small car to a big car. Yeah, like yeah. the progression. The progression, that's it, yeah. yeah. What's your next car then? Um, uh, Lamborghini Rivelto. 
That's the next one. So yeah. that that'll be my next one, and then I've got I got a couple other cars coming as yes. well. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are there any cars that you won't get that you never get? Mm, something like. Uh, that you just like stay away from. Nah, you know. What about Range Rovers, have you got them? I've G-Wagon. got Range Rovers. Yeah. So I've got so I've got Range Rovers. I've got G wagons. So I wouldn't really stay away from them, but I'd just be more cautious of Range Rovers now mm. because of what's going on with them. Yeah, yeah, I've heard they're not there like, yeah, it's hard, it's easy to get into, like, yeah. into the theft. Like, obviously, you've got loads of cars, so have you had any, like, any of them stolen or anything? Yeah, so, um, a couple of years ago, I had a Green Hurricane Spider, hmm. um, and we had given it out to somebody, and obviously, they had, uh, they had sold the car without us knowing, so hmm. the car was sitting in London Heathrow Airport, Wow. and um, we didn't think much of it, because every day, the payments were coming into the account, hmm. but um, the guy who actually had hired the car, he had broke his tooth. Mm. Yeah. But is it, was it actually, did he actually break it or did you? Well, that's what he said. And so he flew out. So a couple of days have gone by and we were like, he's paying for it, but something doesn't add up. Mm. So um, my brother had sent one of his very close mates to go and see where the car is and got there. And there's no car. There's oh. no car. There's no car. But the, you had the GPS tracker on it, right? Yeah, we had the GPS tracker, but it was showing it's there, but the car's not there. So, so, the so they had oh, ripped it out and whatnot. They had done yeah. their thing and the car, had, uh, had, had, it just basically had disappeared. And yeah. since then, I've, we've not heard anything from that car, yeah. Well, how, how much of a loss so was that? So we took a £250,000 loss at that time. And that was oh, just yeah. as my brother was, as my brothers were starting to go up and up. Does that make mm. sense? So it's like, you're coming from there to there to there. And as soon as you get into the top level, it's a big achievement buying a Lamborghini, you know, starting from a from such a small car like an Audi yeah. A3 and then going to a Lambo, it's a very big thing. So he went from there, there, there. And as soon as he got to there, and now that's where the real thing starts because from there, he can just expand it, expand it all, all out. Yeah. But it just went the other way around. Yeah, now does that ever scare you a bit that that might happen again? 100% it scares me. It's, yeah. It scares me. That's why I'm always on the trackers. I've got I've got uh, two colleagues that work alongside me, but one of them's on there all the time. And then when once he's done from it, the other one starts on it. Yeah, can you not get like a hidden tracker or anything? Um, uh, you know what it is? I've got loads of trackers in the cars. I've yeah, got loads. So, so one I've, I've got, yeah, I've got many different things on them. Yeah. You never expect the unexpected. Anything can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, definitely, man. But yeah, like I said, um, it's been it's been a great conversation, man. Yeah, it's, it's been a good conversation. You know, honor bro. like coming to your supercar company and like you know just having a chat and discussing your business. It's been a good convo. And you, and uh, obviously, I think it's a starty time. Man. I know, I know. I think <laughs> it is a starty time. So we'll end up with the last question: Does money buy happiness? No. Nah. Well, you, you, it looks like it buys you happiness. Does it buy <laughs> nah, you happiness? Nah, nah. <laughs> money doesn't buy you happiness. No. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, if you ask me, all this is materialistic. Mm. It can be here today, it can be gone tomorrow. Yeah, 100%. But that Namaz might isn't going to be gone for you. That's the gem, That's man. a success. Um, so what, what makes you happy then? What makes me happy? Praying. Mm. Praying, yeah. We yeah, understand praying. That That's what makes me happy, happy. And then obviously, I'll, what makes me, what else does make me happy is this game. You mm. know, just running around, getting cars out, you know, seeing yeah. different, different customers, meeting different, different people. Yeah. It's a buzz. But yeah, alhamdulillah for everything. Yeah, man. Jazakallah definitely. for coming on. Thank you for coming Thank on. Thank you, boys, man, for putting me on as well. Yeah, and, and guys, uh, make sure you subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, take care, take guys. Care. Bye.